Jack them up, boys. Thank you, Jesus. I'm going to start out. I just, I just went away. <laughs> I'm back. Praise the Lord. I want to share this. It says, um, this is a prayer. This is corporate prayer. Don't look at it as something you're going to get, but look at it as something you're bringing to it. Amen? It's a fire that's within you that will light this world on fire. Amen? I just wanted to share that with you. I went to Joel chapter 2, verse 1. It says, Blow ye the trumpet in Zion, and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble, for the day of the Lord cometh, for is nigh at hand. And then I want to go down to verse 11. And it says, And the Lord shall utter his voice before his army, for his camp is great, for he is strong that executeth his word. For the day of the Lord is great and very terrible, or I want to say, awesome. And who can abide it? Praise the Lord. You know, I hear the sound of the army of the Lord. It's a sound of praise, and it's a sound of war. Hallelujah. Do you hear the sound of the army of the Lord? You're in that army. Praise the Lord. And so I just wanted to share that with you before we get started in prayer. You know, that there's a lot going on out there. <laughs> Hallelujah. But how many know that God is on the throne and his word shall hold true no matter what? Amen. Thank you, Lord. Let your hearts not be troubled. Praise God. Be not discouraged. Be not dismayed. Don't operate in fear. For the Lord is within you to lead and guide you to keep you. Amen? Hallelujah. It's an exciting time because, and I say that because the church is in control. The church is in control. Hallelujah. The, fa the Father hears our prayers. When it says in Jeremiah 33, 3, which has always said that it was his phone number, those that call upon the Lord, he answers. Amen? So as we call upon him tonight, we know that he answers. Amen? Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, that we have your ear. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We just welcome you into our midst. Father, where two or more are gathered, there you are in our midst, Father. I thank you, Father, for unity in this church. I thank you, Father, for a coming together in, in one accord in Jesus' name. I thank you, Father, that we yield our spirits to you tonight. I thank you, Father, that we draw out of the wells of our bellies tonight, Father. Lord, that we would pray, that we would pray and, and, and voice, Father, what you have within us, Lord, for such a time as this. Father, I just thank you that we're led by the Holy Ghost. I thank you, Father, that we hear your voice. I thank you, Father, that we declare the works of God. I thank you, Lord, that greater is he that's in us than he that's in the world. I thank you, Lord, that the victory is ours and the battle is the Lord's. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, that you've not lost any battles in Jesus' name. You've not lost a one. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for Holy Ghost wisdom coming out of us, Lord, declaring the works of the Father. We speak it out, Lord, in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for your peace that passes all understanding. We call on that peace, Lord, in Jesus' name. And we thank you for it, Father. We thank you, Lord, that we are in agreement with the peace of God. Amen? Thank you, Lord, that every man, woman, and ch child's hearts, Father, are being called unto you. Lord, it says in your word that we lift you up, Jesus, that you draw all men unto you. Lord, we lift Jesus up. Father, we lift Jesus up. Jesus, you are high and lifted up. 
Your train fills the temple. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you for Jesus. We thank you for the obedience of Jesus. We thank you for the faithfulness, Father. We thank you for carrying out, Lord, what you called him to do. We thank you, Lord, that the plans and purposes that you placed on him, he said, it is finished. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, that you sent the Holy Ghost to live within us, that you didn't leave us comfortless. You sent the Holy Ghost within us to lead us and to guide us into all truth. Father, that we would never be in the dark, that we'd always be in the light, we would always be in the knowing, we'd always be in the seeing. The devil would never catch us off guard in Jesus' name. Amen? Hallelujah! We're never off guard, never off guard, never, never, never. We abide under the shadow of the Almighty. He is our refuge. He is our shelter. He is our high tower. Hallelujah. He is our deliverer. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father, for this church. Thank you for every person that comes through these doors, Father. Lord, that they sense and know the presence of God. Father, that we don't keep the light hidden under a bushel, Father. We don't keep the light hidden in a closet, Father. We have the light coming out of us, shining for all to see, Father. Lord, your presence, your glory, in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Father, we desire that with all of our heart, our soul, and our strength, that your love would manifest on the face of this earth. Lord, the truth of your love, that all mankind would come together and stand in unity. Hallelujah. We know, Father, from your word that you will fulfill it. And until that time comes, Lord, we stay and we pray and we declare that the fires of the enemies are quenched in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you that your word stands true. We thank you, Lord, that we have the ability and we have the wisdom and we have the knowledge and we have the leading of the Holy Ghost to be able to pray accurately each and every time, Father, that we come before you in Jesus' name. I thank you, Lord, that we operate with the mind of Christ all the time. Hallelujah. That as we pray, Father, in the Holy Ghost, that we are renewed within our spirits, Lord. The darkness has to leave, the blindness has to leave, and the light has to shine in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. Lord, that we hear the voice of the Father. And he says, be not discouraged, be not dismayed, but lift your eyes up on high for your redemp redemption draweth nigh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For such a time in Jesus' name. In all the chaos, in all the calamity, God is on the move. Don't be moved by what you see. Be moved by what you believe. Be moved by what you speak out and voice and declare. Be moved by the word of God, and obstacles will get out of your way. Hallelujah. Greater is he that's in us than he that's in the world. Amen? 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 Thank you, Jesus, for that Holy Ghost boldness to come into the church, that we stand up, and no matter what, we say and voice that which is true. Hallelujah. Why? Because we're led by the Father. We're led by the Holy Ghost. We're not led by man. Amen? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. You know, I wanted to say, General George Patton, he said this, those who pray do more for this world than those who fight. And if things go from bad to worse, 
it is because there are more battles than there are prayers. <laughs> General George Patton said that. So what does that say to us? We want to see all these battles come to, come to an end then we need to spend more time in prayer declaring the works of the Father. Amen? I don't, just praise the Lord to begin to just declare the works of what the Father says for you to speak out as we pray corporately, as your home, in your, in your car, at work, wherever you might be when the Holy Spirit begins to just stir itself within you. You may not even know why or what you're praying about, but what you need to do is just be obedient to what you feel on the inside needs to come up out of you. It could be for anything, anywhere, any person. Amen? <laughs> it could be for an Israeli. It could be for a small child walking to that classroom. It could be for someone that just went into a doctor's office having a doctor's report given to them. It could be about wars that are trying to brew. But you speaking and declaring the word of God out of your mouth by the Holy Ghost will stop the enemy in his tracks. For greater is he that's in us than he that's in the world. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I was the cool of day in the Garden of Eden. I was the burning bush in the desert. I was the wilderness in Nahum, the prophet's vision. I was the voice in Balaam's donkey. I was the still small voice to Elijah. I am the revelation of Jesus. I was the rustling of leaves in the mulberry tree, forcing David to advance and to fight. <laughs> Thank you, Lord, for our military in the name of Jesus. No matter where they're based, where they lay their heads at tonight, Father God, I thank you, Lord, that you are the rustling of leaves in their midst. I thank you, Lord, that they hear the voice of the Father. I speak to those leaders in the name of Jesus, and I thank you, Father, that they hear the sound of the Father's voice. They hear the direction that you would have them go and what you would have them do, even if it meant standing up and praising the Father. <laughs> even the sound of praise. It says, I hear the sound of the army of the Lord. It's a sound of praise, and it's a sound of war. Amen? I was the sword of Gideon, the star that guided the wise men, the angel in Abraham's tent, the cleft in the rock. I was the revelation, and I am the revelation. The fire in the cloud of Sinai, and the tongue on, of fire on the day of Pentecost. I am that I am. You know, and I said that along some, some days back in another service. The great I am lives on the inside of you. So you can say, I am that I am. Because the greater one lives on the inside of me. And what we declare out of our mouths by the Holy Ghost will come to pass. Do you believe that? Thank you, Lord. It's an exciting time. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father, that your hand is upon us. Glory be to God. I thank you, Father, that the hand, your hand is upon this church, that your hand is upon the vision of this church, that your hand is upon the new worship center, that your hand is upon the daycare, that your hand is upon every man, woman, and child that walks through these doors. Father, you know who they are. We speak to them and declare them by faith in Jesus' name. We call them in in the name of Jesus. And I thank you, Father, there will not be one chair empty in this place in Jesus' name. I thank you, Lord, I see every chair filled. 
I see every chair filled in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord, for men and women serving God with all their hearts, with all their spirits, with all their emotions, with all their, with all their finances. I thank you, Lord, that everything they have, Father, they just commit it unto you in Jesus' name. Father, so as we commit unto you, Lord, that we are blessed to be a blessing. Amen? That our, star, our storehouses are full and running over. Say, my storehouse is full. My storehouse is running over. I'm blessed to be a blessing. There's no lack around me. Hallelujah. For every person in this place that needs a job, Father, we declare that you're creating one right now in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord. We're calling those jobs forth in the name of Jesus. And I declare tonight, Father God, they're going to be above and beyond what they, what they, what they walked away from in Jesus' name. Promotion. I declare promotion. Promotion. Thank you, Lord, for the increase. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for the increase in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, that you are a God of surprises. You are known for your, fa un your famous acts, Father God. And we know, Lord, I know as I know that I know, Father God, that you have great things, great things in store for each and every one of us, spirit, soul, and body. Father, our relationships are in our emotions, Father, in our finances, in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord, for those divine appointments in relationships, Father. Divine appointments. Father, that you're bringing us before great men. It says that your gifts and your callings will bring you before great men men. Hallelujah. I thank you, Lord, that we are coming before great men. And I say that in the sense of men that have the power to create in the sense of in the financial world. Hallelujah. You know, I'm we're all great, you know. I'm, I'm, so try and understand what I'm saying when I say great men. Those that, have, that are in a place of authority, say even within your companies that you may already work for, that a door of opportunity will open as a result of the gifts and the callings that God has placed on the inside of you, making room for you. I don't know. That was just for somebody tonight. Hallelujah. Your gifts and your callings, whether it's in finance, whether it's in accounting, whether it's in whatever, building airplanes, I don't know, oil rigs, driving a truck, driving a semi, Whatever it is the Lord has experienced you in, ta the, your talents, your gifts, bull riding, whatever it may be, that your gift and your talent is making room for you because God's placing you in front of great men. Hallelujah. I receive that. <laughs> I receive that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I mean, you could, be, you could be shopping at Walmart getting your groceries. And a great man could walk right up to you. Because I believe there's men in there that are great that, that you don't even know. They're, I mean, they're at Walmart. I believe great men can shop at Walmart. As they even shop at Neiman Marcus or wherever. You know what I'm saying? Hallelujah. Do you believe that? You know, when I, was, uh, when I was a small child growing up, 
and then going to high school, and, and then getting married, and having a child, and, and then here I am now in Texas, you know, and I've, I've, I've hosted Kenneth Copeland, I've hosted Oral Roberts, I've walked next to Kenneth Hagen. I don't remember if I hosted. You know, I've, I've worked for Jerry Savelle. You know, great men. <laughs> I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything but just go. I didn't do, but the, your gifts and your callings will bring you before great men. Brought me to Dave. How many of you, you know, I even sat in the presence of uh, President Bush. I was at the opportunity to be in his presence from afar, but I was in his presence. You know, I would have never thought. And I don't know, there's several of you here. You may have shook hands with what the world would say, a great, a great man or a man of influence, a man of power. You know, and, and that's what I really believe uh, that's going to happen in the name of Jesus. I just thank you, Lord, for those opportunities. I thank you for those placements. I thank you for those divine appointments in the name of Jesus, that it's a set time. And I thank you, Lord, as a result, you will be blessed financially. And as a result of that, the church will be blessed financially because your storehouses are full and running over. And when your storehouses are full and running over, the church can't help but have its storehouse full and running over. Because you're tithers, right? Hallelujah. And you give above and beyond. Amen? Thank you, Jesus. I receive it. Say, I receive it. I'm looking forward, Lord, to come before those great men. Hallelujah. Amen. Does any, can anyone else here in their, in their spirits have anything to shed light on that? The Lord's speaking to your heart to even expound more on that? Let, then you can turn. Yes, amen. Amen. You know, there's, there's that starting point. You know, a lot of those men that are great didn't know they were great until they got great. Now they're great. And it's greater is he that's in you. So you're going to even be greater than the great. Hallelujah. I always thought of, you know, great grandma, and then there's great, great grandma, and then there's great, 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 great grandma. You know, I'm grandma, but now I'm a great grandma. Can you believe that? <laughs> I can't, but yeah. in the natural, I'm a great grandma. Can you believe it? Oh, Hallelujah. So praise the Lord. See, so the world does have a little catch on that. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that you're bringing us before great men, that we may let our light shine. You know, it'd be awesome to, to, for that to take place and for that person to come to Jesus. Hallelujah. Because there's a lot of men of influence out there, you know, that need Jesus. Amen? I'm going to give you a testimony about that. <laughs> y'all y'all have been watching me on Facebook because we've been gone on this trip. Monday, I guess it was Monday, we're on our way back home. We decided the last minute we're going to go through Dodge City just because it's out of the way, but we're going through Dodge City. And um, we go through and it's like and we're showing the kids and we're like going, oh, well, maybe we want to stop here. And we're just like, We've been on the road for 10 days. We're ready to come home. We said, oh, look, there's the museum. We stopped at the visitor center, and they go, oh, well, the museum's over here. It costs this much. And we got it. We go, oh, we don't really want to spend that much time. And my sister looks. She goes, you think we should go in the, the, the gift shop at the visitor center? I mean, at the museum. And I said, yeah, let's go. And the kids were like, oh, no, not another one. Said, no, let's go in there. We walk in the shop, and we're kind of looking around, and we would had a running joke. Um, Y'all know Gary likes Buck Taylor, and he's the artist and on Gunsmoke. And Catherine kept saying, oh, look, all these people are trying to look like Buck Taylor. Okay, 
we would go in there. So there's this guy standing at the counter. And I go, I started to pat, tag Catherine. And go, hey, look, there's somebody else trying to look like Buck. And I did a double take, and it was Buck Taylor. <laughs> he knows us. I walked over there to him. Like, hey, and he hollers, and we hug because we, we know each other. But, you know, this is an actor. He's out here. I've got on my star, David. You know, what are you doing here? Well, I'm here doing here, and then in another month, Catherine and I are going to Israel. He said, oh, man. He goes, we got to get people in office that stand with Israel. And I said, that's what the church is supposed to be doing. And he said, yeah, yeah. And we just got to say, God is good. We stand with Israel. But that's a man that people know. And most people think the actors are all liberal, and they don't believe what we believe. But here was somebody just randomly because he was in the gift shop. He was fixing to do some publicity shots. You know, it was just that, that moment Amen. with a man who has influence. We got to talk about Israel, how awesome Israel is, how our government needs us to speak up, pray for them, pray for them. <laughs> and say that. And it was awesome. That was, that was a God moment because we didn't need to stop there. But the Holy Spirit was like, we just felt like, okay, let's go in and see that. And then when he walked back out, we had people at the counter asking, how do you know him? How do you know him? And we were able to just have a moment with these people that, you know, it was a God appointment. And we said, said that. Amen. You know? Praise the Lord. So. Amen. Power of influence. Amen. Increase by association. Brother Jerry has got a message on that. Increase by association. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for that power of influence. Thank you, Father, that, that we are a people that speak out what we believe, that we don't hide it under a bushel, that we declare the works of the Lord, no matter where you're at. Testify. Somebody's listening. It might not be the person you're actually talking to. It could be the person standing behind them. Somebody's listening. Amen. Pastor, you have something to say? God started dealing with me about, I don't know what, who this is for. Matthew chapter 15, but he answered and said every, every uh, no, go back to uh, 1510. He said to the multitude, he said to them, hear and understand, not what goes into the mouth defiles a man, but what comes out of the mouth defiles that man. His disciples said to him, Do you not know that the Pharisees are offended when they heard this saying? And he said, Every plant which, is, which my heavenly Father has planted will be not planted, will be uprooted. Let them alone. They're blind leaders leading the blind. And if the blind leads the blind, they both fall in a ditch. And what the Lord dealt with me about that is what's coming out of your mouth. Do you remember Sunday I talked about out of the abundance of the heart does the mouth speak? What's coming out of your mouth better be what the Word says and not what we're seeing. I, I, I keep hearing this about uh, the dollar. The dollar is going down. I'm going to tell you what the dollar is doing in the rest of the world. I, two years ago... The exchange rate in Nigeria was 155 for a dollar. Right now, it's 196.30. So the dollar's not going down. Don't let them prophesy over your life. Don't let them prophesy over your life that things are harder to get. Instead, believe what God's Word says and speak that out of your mouth. Right now, Putin told Obama today to get out of his way in Syria. This is what I'm praying today. Father, make your people stand up that are in office and override the ones that don't want to believe your word and don't want to stand for your word. Because if he won't... Let him get out of the way because God's people will arise. They will take this land and we will continue. Hey, as long as we're here, that's what we're supposed to do. Occupy. He didn't say sit by. He said occupy. Occupy means get off your rear ends and do something. That's exactly what it means. Occupy with strength. 
We're strong. Amen. <laughs> eat. I just don't even eat a bush. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Let's just pray in the Holy Ghost. Ela brondo reste le ki asora la basho terede. Ira basura bashe de de se ke se de bro sondra base. Ila brando lo ko sondre san la la brande. Ira baso trede de se de mande le ki asora ba. Ira le sondre sa la brande le ki aso. Ila bro ko shotura bash ne de de sa. Ira basho ture be se tere bro sondre basa. Ira le brando la brasho ko si tara brande. Este le brosh ne tere brande le ki aso. Turaba, Idele Shondra Ba Sandala Sundo, Ere Sandele Kia Soto, Tora Sanda, Stirred Up, Dorabando Shitera, Ida Brandolo Schnede Sere Kia Soraba, Idele Sondra Ba Sitere do Sora, Ida Basho Torebe Sede de Brosso, Ibroso Torabase, Ibroso Torebe Sede de Dasa, Ha Ha, Siko Sora Ha, Ha Ha, He Shotora Ha, He 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 So, He Le He So, Oh. Heshe he se ira rabashte le sotora ira se te he 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 abrasi to soraba imondo sotora ba ira se plow 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 blow blow shnede ira la sotora bashne indanda le sonda indanda ne sonda osenda la kosho to bahase te he he osora bashe out of the way out of the way osora bashe ki sora. Imo she telebro so tora base. Oso ho ho. Iso ho so raha. Iso ra soar soar. Soar da brase de se. Oso to to ta ha ha ha. Yese te telebro. Ide se telebro. Ide se telebro. Rise up. Rise up. Oshe ke sande. Oso to ra base te he he. Aso ra. Aso ra. Aso ra. Yes Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Move, move by the Holy Ghost. Oh, shodra base ida mandoso infiltrate dele shota isa tada broso isa tehe boots to the ground dola broshonda ile broshoto the enemies under our feet dola broshne de no mande se kisora ha. Jesus is Lord. Ho go lebre he he, o glo bro he he he, o glo bro he he he. Thank you, Jesus. Have your way. O go lo bro he he, ha ha. Does anybody have a word? Whenever you're talking about bringing the four great men. That great man, but if you bring him before, he will bring you before your employer, someone who is better, someone who will give you, employ you with high rate because they see you and they see something they want in you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Okay, anyone else have something come up out of their spirits when we're praying in the Holy Ghost? Oh, come on. I felt like there was a word. Come on. I've had something that, that, that just keeps coming up for in this time. And it, and it has to do with... Uh, at the times we live in, you know, and I'm not talking about fear, but I am talking about looking back. And there's nothing back there. There's nothing back there. And the thing that keeps, the reason that came up to me and the example was, was Lot's wife. She looked back and there wasn't nothing there. She was told, don't look back. And I don't even know what her name was. Pillar of salt is what I'm saying. And, and they're talking about standing before great men. Well, we're all, we're all great men. Great men, great women. Because it's greater as him that's living than us, you know. 
And so that just makes me think about the great men that we see that, that we consider great in the world. Failure never stopped them. The only thing that failure did was cause them to learn. And if you focus back here, you're just an idle piece of salt. So we have to be focused this way in everything that we do. It also talks about, you know, in the last days, don't even, if you're on the roof, don't go in the house to get anything. There's nothing back there. There's nothing going to be behind us in this world that we want. Don't get detoured. Hallelujah. Reminding of the time Terry Savelle Foy said, it took uh, 409, you know, the spray stuff, the four, it took it 409 times to get to where it got. They didn't stop. I knew you had time. All right, um, real quick. God just keeps bringing something to my heart. You're not a defeated people. You understand that. You're a warrior. You're more than conquerors. You are above and not beneath. You are ahead and not the tail. There's nothing in this world that can destroy you. Do you understand what I'm saying? There's nothing that can take you out of this world. Because Jesus said he'll keep you from the evil in this world. Amen. You're a Holy Ghost filled people. A blood bought people. You have power and dominion to ride bucking bulls. Listen to me. You understand what I'm saying? To do great things. Motorcycles. Jobs. Build things. Create things. Win things. Have victory everywhere you go. There is nothing that can stop you. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Just remember this. It's not about you. It's about him and how many people you can bring with you. How many people can you affect with your gift? How many people will you bring into the kingdom of God? Because they want what you got, just like he said. Amen? Praise the Lord. Greater is he that's in us and he that's in the world. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Anybody else got anything they want to share on their hearts? Corporate prayer. Hallelujah. <laughs> okay. We talk about our little kids at Peril all the time. I'm trying not to get emotional. Um, as you all know, we um, go to Peaster School, and every year the public school has one time a year prayer at the pole. So all the kids gather together with all the administration, teachers, students. They gather around the flagpole, and we all pray for our schools. Ours was two weeks ago. Um, it started at 7.20. We got there late at 7.30. and was already over. <laughs> um, we got there about 7.35. A couple of kids had started and decided that they weren't done. They didn't care that the teachers went inside. They didn't care that there weren't any parents left. Their friends were coming in, and they wanted their friends to pray with them, and they wanted to have time for them to pray. So a couple of them stayed. Um, when the time we got there, there was about 10 students, and the parents were totally stepped back. I was so amazed. And these kids had out their Bibles, and they were all holding hands around the pole, and they were praying the most heartfelt, amazing prayers with each other. And they ranged from kindergarten to sixth grade. And we got there, and it grew, and it grew, and it grew. And we started it with about 10 kids. And by the time the bell rang, we were already supposed to be in the school. There was almost 40 kids out there praying. They didn't want to stop. And we just sat back, and we just let them have it. And it was not the adults. It was not the teachers. It was not the parents. It was the kids. And it was such a glorious thing. And so many of them, when we got done, looked at us and said, when do we come back? Can we come back next Wednesday? So this was two weeks ago, and we're all meeting every Friday now. So many parents, so many students said, 
this can't just happen one time a year. This needs to happen every single week or more. So we rallied together with the parents and the kids that wanted, and we started. So now every Friday we're meeting at 7.20 to pray for our schools and our children. But it's not about us adults. It's the kids. They wanted it. They took the initiative, and they made it happen. So I'm so excited to see what grows from this. Well, I just declare in Jesus' name that it's going to cause a wave across this nation, that every school will pick up on this, and we'll see prayer at the pool every week to almost every day. Who said prayer is being taken out of school? We're bringing prayer back to the schools in Jesus' name, and it's the children that's doing it. I thank you, Jesus. Amen. That just shows you. That just shows you the love of God, doesn't it? Thank you, Jesus. As you've watched today, you've had the opportunity to hear the word preached. And as you apply that word, you'll get victory in your life. But it has to start someplace. It has to start first with a commitment to Jesus Christ as making him your Savior and then making him the Lord of your life. Paul said this in Romans 10 8 through 10. It says, but what does it say? The word is near you and it's in your mouth and in your heart. That is the word of faith which we preach. Well, the word of faith that Paul preached is found in the next verses. It says that if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, then you'll be saved. For with a mouth confession is made unto salvation, and with a heart one believes unto righteousness. So it goes like this. All you have to do is actually say, Jesus is my Savior and He is my Lord. So I'm going to invite you to say this with me this morning. Uh, and if you want to bow your head, you can bow your head. The Bible says that pray watching, and so it's okay to keep your eyes open and, and watch. But let's say this together. Say, Father, I know that you sent Jesus to die for my sins. I confess those sins today. I ask you, Jesus, to forgive me of those sins and to come into my heart and be my Savior. And I commit today that I will make you the Lord of my life. Thank you for salvation today. In the name of Jesus, amen. If you said that today for the first time, no matter what time of the day or night it is, uh, welcome to the family. Welcome to knowing Jesus Christ as your Savior. Now from this day on, make Him the Lord of your life. And as you make Him the Lord of your life, you will find out what God can do in you and through you. Also, if you've watched this broadcast, we want you to know that you can become a partner with this ministry. As you become a partner with this ministry, some of the things that you've seen throughout this uh, presentation... Uh, the buckouts and, and things like that, then you become a part of that kind of ministry. And there's many people that come to know Jesus. We have offices in Nigeria and Togo, have four churches in Nigeria, one in, in Togo. And uh, we want you to know that you become a part of each and everything that this ministry does when you become a partner. You can see the information right there on your screen so that you're able to become a covenant partner with us. And as you do, we want you to know that we pray over each and every one of your offerings so that God will multiply it back to your hands according to his word. His word says in Luke 6, 38, that he gives back, pressed down, shaken together, running over to make room for more. The New Living Translation says whatever measure you use in giving large or small, it'll be used to measure what is given back to you. So we want you to know that God loves you He'll take care of you, and he'll multiply the seed that you sow in this ground with this ministry. Remember that Jesus is Lord, and Jesus loves you, and so do we.